We we might we might be planning a master plan. We might have a little plot. We might have a plot. So <laughs> we thought we might smell a few things that might possibly uh, be part of a plot that we might be hatching. Great. Which, um, yeah. Which will probably, the way that it is this year, probably leak over into 2023. Right, you know, things, things are busy. But uh, if, if one were to imagine a, a flapper flapping... Flappers <laughs> 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 flapping, thing, yeah. Um, but a, a, a bright young thing... We, actually, Great Apera was one, by the way. Oh, great really? Apera. She gave up her job as a cook and went to be a secretary on much lower pay mm. so that she could go out dancing at night in the 1920s. Oh, brilliant. Because cooks couldn't. Yeah. yeah. So, so she mm. trained as a cook, but uh, she then retrained as a secretary. And part of her, her adventurous past. Mm. But yeah, uh, um, this. Yeah, see, it's I know. I know an alpha. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Mm. I mean, it's called, the reason it's called alpha is just because it is a Greek, mm. but that's what the chemicals are named. It's just yeah. one shape. I have beta somewhere as well. Don't bring it else. But... Beta, the more woody one. Yep. Yeah. So this one is almost pure palm of violet. Yeah, it's good. Fresh palm of violet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Are we liking it? I mean, you could just bottle that and sell that, couldn't you? Could do. As a fragrance. Yeah. It would be great. Mm. And people would go, oh, it's so complex. <laughs> <laughs> well, because, but the reason that happens, even though it's a single molecule, is the brain would just remember every single time they'd ever smelt violets or mm. tasted violets or sniffed violet flowers or wore a violet perfume. So in that way, complexity... It's almost like you make it more complex. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm. It, it, it's complexity is not necessarily a result of a perfume having lots of things in it. Mm -hmm. so let's let's mm. be fair about that. Because <laughs> and I discovered that when somebody smelt vanillin, just a single molecule right. at my place and yeah. just went, oh, that's so complex. But that was somebody who was a collector of vanilla and amber perfumes. Right. <laughs> Plus you also get like every cake you've ever eaten. <laughs> so no, okay, this. This I like. This it took me a long time to get my head oh, around this. Oh, yeah. Mm. Whoa. I love that. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Do you know what it smells like to me? Tell me. Um. <laughs> Suede? I was going to say salt and vinegar peanuts. KP salt and vinegar I peanuts. Can see, I can see peanut. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, that's so much more, and that's what the brain. Does. Yes, that's the amount more. That's really nice. Because yeah, salted peanuts within suede shoes. Yes, within a slightly they've got slightly muddy, um, in a garden full of Italian irises. Mm -hmm. It's Oris, but it is Oris Givco. It's the Givaudan recreation of Oris. See, which I like that better than whatever it was I smelled earlier. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Which was, which we'll get that out because mm. it's got a, it's got a sort of on top. You smell it, and you're like, oh, that's really nice. And then underneath, there's just something like deliciously rancid. <laughs> but I mean that in like a really good in way, you know, like, like in a good. It's yeah. definitely got that earthiness, almost like a mushroom kind of feel. Yeah. I I think that the the Givaudan does the Givcos just amazingly. So this no. is synthetic. Uh, yes, mm. this is so. It's what's called in the industry a recreation, right. meaning we have taken it and we have recreated it. Mm. So, um, and a recreation means that you've made it out of component parts. Sometimes that within the industry, sometimes outside people just think you've you've made it again because mm. you're going to recreate something in normal life. Yeah. You just do it again. Mm. Um, in the industry, it specifically means you've done it again, but with Component else, parts yeah. usually synthetic. So That's lovely. Let's smell it with the violet together. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Immediate lipstick mm. parties. Mm -hmm. um, Very <laughs> lipsticky together. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Love it. Uh, this is one that we didn't smell downstairs, but it's similar. 
and again this it's pretty solid so there's it's just a bit <laughs> Arthur wants <laughs> forget um mm. so again this is that's more more mud than anything else mm. and this is your natural oris this is our oris Ooh. butter with eight percent iron you can get it with 16 percent iron um i couldn't afford that so mm. i bought the eight yeah the better or the more expensive <coughs> the more expensive i mean i could just use twice as much but i couldn't it for cash flow reasons i couldn't afford to shell out for, mm. the, for the 16 yeah time. what's the mm. rough price difference between the recreation and <coughs> the, the one that you've got the natural? well i bought if you buy a kilo of the orishivko then it's the natural is about 20 times more expensive. Wow. If you buy five kilos, the price comes down so much that the natural is about 50 times more expensive. <laughs> I know. So, and the way I tend to buy according to cash flow. Mm. So, if you see the amount I've got, if I've got that much, it's very expensive. If I've got five kilos, it's, uh, I've probably spent the same amount. Mm. <laughs> But, uh, but and ended up with um, a lot more of it. Well, on their yeah. own, the recreation smells more to me like what I think of Iris. Mm. And that, that's, that's what they do. They're not necessarily trying to recreate the smell of the aroma of, of this the, butter. Yeah. But more of the, that, that's the same thing we were talking about, the Narcissus, which I haven't got up here, but mm. the same thing. The natural smells very dark and leathery. Yeah. And the Iris, uh, the... Narcissus and the Narcissus uh, recreation smells like that waft you were talking about yeah, on the flowers. Yeah, real daffodils. Yeah. What else shall we smell? Oh, I know. Um, I say, I was going to ask you what you want to smell. Oh, no, I'll just tell you. <laughs> um, but I think it would be useful to smell the Violet Leaf Absolute. Mm. I've now told you what it is we're smelling. I just think it doesn't matter. I can see them and I can't help looking anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'll do what Alex does to get the lid not lid off. <laughs> so I'm not actually getting all sticky. No, he doesn't do it like that, does it? No, he does like that. Oh. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. How far did I... Oh, I, okay. normally... I dipped it a bit far. Sorry, yeah. Oh, look at the colour of that. I know. Normally, violet leaf in perfumes I don't love. I don't love it as much as I love iron oats. Mm. But I do enjoy Fahrenheit and I do enjoy it, but yeah. it's a bit greener. It is completely different and I have Look at it. I have dunked far too much in there. <laughs> Bearing in mind that this is this is um percent strength, but anyway I have. The colour is amazing. Sometimes oh. just use it for that. Oh my god. So yeah, not too close. Did you say that's 100%? Yeah. 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 It's, it's strong. I, I should have diluted it. I, but I was trying Ooh. to dip a tiny bit and mm. I forgot how much there was in there. Yeah. Mmm. I... <laughs> I'm lost for words. Mm, I like it. I like it. <laughs> but it is the greenest of green green. Yeah. As Percy would say. Um, and the the thing that makes it smell this much mostly is actually the same it's the the molecule the cucumber aldehyde so right. it's mm. it's very you put it in you'll get a cucumber smell it smells like careful. crest to me yeah it's probably in there as well mm. yes to me it smells like the underside of a four-legged animal i was wondering where you're going to go with that <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was thinking maybe car but no um yeah i don't know why inside it's not i you know, I really, really loathe the smell of cucumber. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, but you don't love it. And this. I don't like the taste of it either. Mm. Okay. But this doesn't remind me particularly. I mean, I can know what you mean about the cucumberiness. But it is very leafy. I mean, so but, ultimately. Very, yeah. Violet Leaf is going to be one of the characters in my novel. Yeah. My, mm. my steampunk magical perfumers novel. Oh my god. I, can't, I don't have the time to write it at the moment, but I'm thinking <laughs> it through. Hmm. I love steampunk as well. Good. Mm. Yeah. Apparently, I read recently, it's uh, in, I don't know, something trendy, that it said that unfashionable steampunk is possibly making its way back. And I was thinking, it's unfashionable? <laughs> 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 I know nothing. I know nothing. Yeah, steam, um, steampunk's 
cool. So we might not. I'm not feeling that. No, but I needed you to yeah. smell it. It's very, it's it's very earthy at the same yeah. time. It's very green. Yeah. And it, I mean, obviously, it's a hundred percent. So, if you if you sneaked a tiny bit in, maybe I wouldn't notice. But, <laughs> but it's very foresty, and I don't think it's what yeah. we're looking for. No. Really. Um. Yes. Yeah, so yes, what we're looking for. So uh, we were talking about having a little bit of a rumbling underneath dirtiness mm. but n nothing too sharp so yeah not cumin just a hint of a musky humanness kind mm -hmm. of thing so mm. we were talking about we got the fleur de queer out which i just like saying mm. <laughs> leather flowers made out of the mantle then there are musks i'm quite keen now you were saying vegan which is mm. good we can definitely stick with vegan and I'm thinking that the musks will all be the new sustainable, renewable, biodegradable. Right. Yeah. Get in there, hundred <laughs> percent. Because the more, the more I'm, all the new stuff I'm doing is that sort of thing. Yeah. What else cool. would you like to smell that might possibly? Have you got any um, ambretti type stuff? Ah, oh, I have. Mm. I have. It's not far away. It's here. So I I have a tiny bit of natural mm. musk ambrette because people give it to me as a sample, trying to get me to buy lots of it. Mm. And I say I've got it here. I say I've got it here. I lie. Mm. Uh, now I should have. I've got ambrette alive. Yeah, it's made from sugar cane these days. Mm. Really? Sort of. Yes. What? Yeah. Yeah, wow! They, do, they call that that is the feed stock. They said. I'm really having a fight with the light oh, today. Yeah. It keeps changing, doesn't it? Yeah, it did that last week as soon as we tried to start talking about regulations. <laughs> just went on board. Just one going in. <laughs> I'm getting sleep now. So this is we're fine. We're back to ten percent strength. Okay. Thank you. So this ambretolide, as musks go, it's expensive. Mm. Ambretolide HC. But mm. it does have a sweetness to it, doesn't it? Yeah, and what's really nice about it is it's known as a top me down base. Mm. So some musks, they don't fight their way through all the other layers of things. So you know mm. things don't really sit in layers like that. But um, some of them are sort of being heavy and sit close to the skin, and you smell them later. This you can pretty mm. much smell it all the way through a creation. Mm. So mm. I'm quite keen on that. What's this again? Umbretolide. There's also apolide and it's posh version edenolide. Um, it's just so nice. I just is. with all of these, I always just want more of it. Mm. I want it to punch. I want it to punch me more. Yeah, it's very soft. Mm. But I'm thinking it's not layers. meant to though, Arthur. It's it's not that. It's just not that kind of a musk. I it find it with all of them. I just want more of it. It's not that. It's not that. It's just that. You don't want to be hurt by it. No, because it smells so good. I just want. I just want to be. To be more pu more pungent. Mm. Do you know what? Yeah, and yet they're just not like that, really, musks. Because if they were, they probably wouldn't be called musks because it's sort of not what they do. <laughs> the thing about them is that they're gentle. I want it to be gentle. I just want to smell it more. I just want it more okay. the gentle. Well, maybe what we'll do, do you know is we'll just... Sounds like an oxymoron. <sighs> it does a little yeah. bit more gentleness. Hmm. Okay. I'll just hand you over this again. Right. So you, you, just, you smelt it like off the top of the, mm -hmm. the lid of the vat. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, this yeah. Is, yeah, yeah. So this is the Queer de Russie again, which mm. is... De no, it's not. I got the wrong one out. This is the Queer de Russie. Yeah, this, this is, is not, not the Queer. No, no. no, this is. This I'm smells just, I'm like just that vetiver. Is, is, is there a smell okay. that vetiver again? I don't know. Smoky. It's probably vetiver or acetate or one of the things that make up vetiver. Mm. Right. Okay. So no. I'm going nuts. <laughs> I picked up the wrong bottle and then just realised as I looked at it, this is not what I gave the smell oh, for. Yeah. yeah, it is gorgeous. I'm okay. in an old church. Oh, and here comes the helicopter. <laughs> Normally we either have we have the police, the helicopter, and the rooks. Mm. Wow. That is, that's the Chinook. That's the Chinook, the yeah. Double-ended yeah. one. Mm. Yeah. And that's lower than normal. 
making the pens. It's making all this stuff rattle. Everything's rattled. Yeah. That's quite exciting. Right. This smells like drinking a can of Coca-Cola in church. So you like it barbecue? Mm-hmm. Do it's you? Stuff. Yeah, there is a bit it's of a It's the white birch. There's a white birch bit in it, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the Cuir de Russie, that's the, the that's the smell of Russian leather, and that's a base yeah. spice in a rum. Okay. So I've got the wrong one out, but on the other hand... This is... Tempting, isn't it? No. Okay, it's not. Really? Okay, cool. I too love burny. This. Okay. It's, it's a bit too bar barbecuey for me. Okay, I've got this. This is the one that I was meaning to bring down here. Okay, so not the beeswax, definitely, because that's so not, not, um, not vegan. Not mm. vegan. Somebody, somebody reviewed the book recently. It was going, um, I don't, I think she go, I think she had a ghost writer because she contradicts herself at one point. Because I made this joke about saying, you know, this is like 17 sprays should be enough or something. Mm. Like how much, you know, how, how much yes. burping should you work? Because all this, every month you get a different review. Say, oh, you should, you should walk into your perfume spray or you should put it on your hair. You should put it on the back of the neck, but not the front. You should put it, you know. Mm. And so I just sort of made this little, you know, yeah. passing remark, yeah. 17 spray should be enough, whatever. And then I'd written about what overspraying is Thank and how you, you have yeah. to be a bit careful. And I said, I don't think she wrote it herself because she's contradicted herself. Like, what no, was I the really joke? did. Just, well, yeah, one, one's, one, one's a joke. Um, the worst one I heard was you spray it on your pressure points because it's where your blood is nearest to the skin. And so your blood carries it, it around your. It no, the blood. It seeps in, blood carries it round your body. Okay, that was not the truth, no. I did. But I mean, the best is the uh, don't rub it because you break, break the molecules. The molecules. <laughs> yeah. Lols. I remember yeah. hearing that from sales assistants. I'm, yeah. I'm believing it and I'm repeating it, which is quite embarrassing. Well, yeah. But why wouldn't you believe something that somebody tells yeah. you? They, they ought to know. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. to me just smells like natural oud. Yeah. And I think it would just add a really nice little bit of funk. Mm. It's funky, isn't it? Mm. It smells like... Um, if somebody's been doing the Chelsea sewage. all night... Hmm? Sewage? Yeah, but like the nice Animal bit of sewage. sewage. Nice bit. Um, muck spreading. Okay. There's this, there was a, se there's a, a sewage works near me, and if you're far enough away from it and the wind's just right, it smells nice. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're after. <laughs> no, but like, there's a, like an element, an, yeah, anim an I, animalic... You're right. <laughs> You're not, you're, look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I mean, I think people have to learn not to like the smell of poo. Children would play with it if they, until they're told that it's awful and they have to avoid it. Yeah. I mean, healthy poo doesn't smell terrible. Yes. You're right. But again, you've got to be just the right distance away from it. <laughs> yes. And your own is more preferable to other people's. Generally speaking. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's... Um, I mean, the, the whole thing about perfumery is people just get accustomed to certain smells and you, first time people smell indoor they'll be going ew, ew, what's that? and then they go oh, oh it's not so bad mm. no can you get indoors completely isolated so you literally just smell indoor yeah i was that. curious about that mm. i'll just save that up for you mm. okay um, cool. yeah thank you <laughs> oh this is fizzy arms got. it is quite isn't it it's like Fizzy whiskey. You are. It smells like so rose, close. rose and candy, fruity cognac. Cognac essential oil. Really? Ah. Yeah. I've got both cognac yeah. essential oil and cognac absolute. And I just thought, darlings, if we're having a party, we might as well throw it in. <laughs> mm. There was a film version of. Um, Called Bright Young Things. Yeah. Directed Stephen, by Stephen, Stephen Bright. Your friend was in it. Yeah. Stephen. Yeah. Stephen Campbell Moore. Yes. Mm. And um, he played the good guy, and David Tennant played the the, the wastrel. That's right. Um, yeah. And I imagine the, the opening scene is them. I have to send you it. They're mm. just dancing away, dancing in the sky. And it's terribly boring. Terribly boring. You know, this. You know, charlestoning, like, it's ter terribly, terribly boring. It's so bored. And then, because um, that's when irony was invented, pretty much. Mm. Yeah. Um, 
the Welsh bloke, David Tennant's friend, he was in as well. Michael Sheen. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, like s summed him up there. Sorry, Michael Sheen, award-winning, a famous actor. David Tennant's well, mate, the Welsh. David Tennant, Welsh bloke. Yeah, <laughs> weird. Um, yeah. Terrific actor. And um, of course, Lord Berners, who on whom Burt <laughs> Cedar Rainbow Dogs mm. is based. All the parties were his house, right, basically. Yeah. So I just thought that might be an interesting. Yeah, I'm not having. sure how I feel about it though. I That's think if why. it was a little, because I'm not into boozy sense generally. Right. So, I will. Yes. But it kind of makes sense with the image that we're coming up. Well, with, it depends. I don't have to go quite. So I don't have yeah, to go really. I don't have to yeah. pin it down mm. like that. Exactly. It doesn't have to be a. a, a, a I think. A, yeah. And I'm. I'm now going. Queer de Russie and cognac. <laughs> I mean, the queer de Russie, you could definitely just, you could dilute that and sell it. In fact, I do believe people have some of those bases. Mm. They just just wear them. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I I would wear the I the Jivet and Iris. Yeah. Mm. I'll give you a bottle of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's um, that's a little introduction to some of the things that we might possibly be considering for a thing that we might possibly be well, considering. Maybe be considering. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. I think we might consider that. <laughs> Would you? Uh... Does the maybe does that mean that you are? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, um, uh, all things considered. Bright and beautiful. Um, what is it that you say that it would be? It would be inshallah if I were saying that but it's like all being well all being you know, well all things considered it, you know that maybe we'll yes. make another film yeah we probably will <laughs>